So, for our first story, we have got the Crayon Christmas. And I know that Chestnut Class have absolutely loved the crayon book so far. So this one's all about the crayons Christmas. Ooh, one snowy December day, Duncan was making Christmas cards with his crayons when the postman brought a letter. Only it wasn't for him. <gasps> Look, it's nude crayon and he's got his pants on, peach colour crayon. From Mum and Dad to his letter, to peach crayon. <gasps> Flat four crayon box, Duncan's room on the bookshelf, next to weird pen holder. Ooh, let's see what they've got. Oh, it's a postcard. Greetings from Florida, and look. You've got pink crayon, and it looks like another peach crayon. Here we go. Oh, peachy pie, you always wear my shy one. So I've sent you some clothes. Now you can give Duncan back his underwear. Have fun dressing up, my little, my little baby. And Merry Christmas, love, Mum. And there you go, that's their little Christmas card that they've sent to Peach Crayon. We'll put that in there. Duncan and his crayons spent the next day playing in the snow. So here are all the crayons. Look, he's got clothes on. Yay, clothes. <gasps> Yellow and orange crayon. I think this, this snowman's nose should be a banana. That's from yellow crayon because bananas are yellow. <gasps> I don't care at all what you think. So that's a pun. Care at all. But rather than that, he's saying carrot. And there's, we've got pink crayon making a crayon snowman. Look. Feeling snowed out, but suddenly very Christmassy, the crayons headed inside to warm up and get out the decorations. So in they go, ready to get out the decorations. <gasps> Christmas stuff. <gasps> Ooh, and here's the Christmas stuff. You know I'm candy, right, Duncan? And you know you're supposed to eat candy, right? Because last time I checked, people didn't hang candy on the tree. Ten years in a row. I'm older than you are, kiddo. Now, will someone please eat me and end this madness? <gasps> Poor candy stick keeps on getting hung up on the tree. Free at last. I was in there for a whole year. <gasps> silver crayon has come out of the box. Yay for silver crayon. The next day, as Duncan and the crayons decorated the house, they heard a knock at the door. Can I please not be on the top back of the tree facing the wall this year, said Green Elf Crayon. And look, we've got Burgundy or Maroon Crayon with a paper click stuck between him. And we've got the bauble this year. Oh, look at me. I'm a stocking. And look, the stock on, stock in is stuck to turquoise crayon. Oh, brother, I wish I'd melted into underwear instead. Oh, dear, so turquoise crayon is hanging on the mantelpiece on his stocking. It was the postman with another letter. This one was addressed to Beige Crayon. And there's Beige Crayon going to the post box. Beige Crayon, the crayon box, top of the bookshelf, Duncan's room. In here. Oh, I've got a little letter from Beige Crayon. Hello, Beigey, my dear boy. I heard you're allergic to, to glues from now on, colouring all that wheat. But don't worry, I'm sending you my world famous, top secret, gluten free uh, glutes, Christmas cookies, and hot cocoa recipe. Merry Christmas and lots of love from Dad. Dad's world famous top secret gluten free Christmas cookies and hot cocoa recipe. Step one, go to the shop and buy gluten free cookies. Step two, oh, also get hot cocoa powder. Step three, follow instructions on hot cocoa jar. Step four, add too much milk so it's a nice beige colour. Maybe add a marshmallow. And step five, eat cookies with hot cocoa. The best step of all because he finally gets to eat it. And you know what? 
The next night, they made Beige's dad's world famous, top secret, gluten free cookie free, uh, gluten free Christmas cookies and hot cocoa. And look, they're using the chocolate as the steps and pouring the marshmallow into the mug. And they're all helping each other. Great teamwork. <gasps> There's the hot cocoa. Ah. Feel that just melt away. And look, candy cane's in there now. Have an almost treated it like a hot dog. Just as they set out the cookies and cocoa, another letter came in the mail. This one was from Grey Crayon, who was away visiting his family. Duncan's crayons. The crayon fought wherever Duncan left it. Ooh, what's he got here? <gasps> He's got a game for us to play. And, ooh, a card. Hey Duncan, sorry I won't be able to make it this year. I'm celebrating Hanukkah, Hanukkah with my family. If I don't, I always get a little sad and grey around the holidays. Ha, huh? get it? Because I'm grey crayon? A little grey because I'm, oh, never mind. Anyway, here's a dreidel. Happy spinning, Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah from grey crayon. A lovely letter from grey crayon. Oh man, you win again. I don't know how you do it. Oh, look, they're playing rock, paper, scissors. A week of art, a, a work of art. It's a triumph, a masterpiece. My greatest work yet. After such great present, what? Well, after such a great present from Grey, the crayons remembered they had some presents of their own to wrap. <gasps> the presents have to do their own wrapping. Deck the halls with lots of crayons. Fa la 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 la. With the presents all wrapped up, it was time to go carol singing. And here they are, like all of them carol singing together. And look, you can only just see white crayon. Just as the crayons came home from carol singing, the postman delivered a big package for chunky toddler crayon. Ooh, I ordered this Christmas gift online. That's how it works, right? You order gifts for yourself. It's not. Oh, sorry. Well, the good news is that we can all play with it. Open it and see. So here we go. Non-priority shipping to Chunky Toddler Crayon. <gasps> here we go. <gasps> oh, it's the Great Crayon Holiday Race. And you've got to play a big, big game. <gasps> and they've given you a board game. The simple goal is to get from the start to the finish. You roll a six-sided dice and move a counter. That number of spaces and if you land on a special space, you follow the directions on the space and move your piece accordingly. Oh, wow. Finally, it was Christmas Eve and time for the big Christmas play. After the play, at the end of the night, there was a package waiting for them on the front door from the North Pole. But it wasn't from Santa. Look, Brown Crayon's dressed as Rudolph. From Esteban the Magnificent to Duncan and everyone back home. Let's see what Esteban's got for us. Oh. And what have they got us? Oh, it's a map of the world. Now, boys and girls, you'll remember that Esteban the Magnificent and Neon Red Crayon, they weren't very good at their directions, were they? Here we go. So... Hey Duncan, remember how I always wanted to see the world? And you and I know how Neon Red is a total expert. Well, Neon Red has been taking me everywhere. Here's a map we made of our trip. We were hoping to get back before Christmas, but sadly we can't because we're helping this old guy like to slay to deliver, to, to deliver um, gifts to some kids. He knows or whatever. Merry Christmas from far, far away. Love, Esteban the Magnificent and Neon Red. Also pretty magnificent. And here they are. Now that person with a sleigh and with lots of children to give gifts to, I wonder who they could meet. We've got North America, South America with Sydney Opera House. Then we've got the um, Eiffel Tower in South America. Hmm. We've got the South Pole in Europe, the pyramids in Russia, and we've got the Great Wall of China in Africa. And we've got the Statue of Liberty in Australia. Oh, I don't know about you boys and girls, but I don't think Esteban the Magnificent or Neon Red Crayon have done that much geography in the past. Let's put that back there. 
Duncan was happy that his crayons had received such wonderful gifts. All he had were letters from Grey, Esteban and Neon Red saying they wouldn't be home for Christmas. That made him sad and no one in the world noticed or cared. <gasps> Merry Christmas, Duncan. Love from your crayons. <gasps> Except for the crayons. In this season of giving, they decided to give back to the boy who had always given them love, respect. And even a home. <gasps> Look, I just love not being in the nude anymore from Peach Crayon. Look, he's got Santa's outfit on. Then we've got Merry Christmas. Then we've got um, a bow. Then we've got God bless everyone. And all the crowns all together around the Christmas tree. Love that story. <laughs>